Hey, how's it going guys? My name's Sinister Skater. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna be kickstarting the best to worst series for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which is really, really exciting. This is one of my favorite series to do. In this series, we're gonna be ranking each of the weapon classes in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and rank each of those weapons in those categories against each other from best to worst. And this will be happening after I get platinum camo on a weapon category, which means I'll have a bunch of experience with each of the weapons, know the ins and outs, and be able to recommend to you guys some of the best and some of the worst weapons to avoid if you're just getting into the game now or kind of haven't gotten to a class yet or anything like that. Before we jump into the best to worst marksman rifles from Modern Warfare, this best to worst run is going to be more like the original run we had in Black Ops 3 from a couple years ago, if you guys have been around. Meaning Modern Warfare is going to be more subjective rather than being more objective. Now, that isn't to say that I'm not considering the weapon stats and everything like that. Of course I am, but I'm not letting that be the kind of decide all because you can put all these different attachments on that modify the weapons so much. It's just going to be impossible to try to be super objective about ranking these weapons. But I can guarantee you that I have of course, got platinum on all these weapons. I've used them with and without attachments in ground warf to get ranged things, to in gunfight, and all a bunch of different modes. So I do have a good idea of how these weapons function. So with that said, make sure you guys leave your own best to worst list down below in the comments if you agree or disagree with mine. It's always fun to compare and contrast. People love to upvote the list that they agree with. And if you don't have time to do a whole list, just at least comment your best and your worst weapon in this class. So what's the best marksman rifle? in modern warfare well let me tell you the marksman rifles in this game aren't too good honestly they're all kind of the worst there is one that i do like a lot but they get outclassed by weapons in different categories of course this doesn't matter ranking them in class but just so you guys are aware assault rifles like the foul and the odin when you kid it a certain way functions better than some of these marksman rifles some of these sniper rifles like the dragon of function better than these marksman rifles marksman rifles really don't have a place in this game other than that you know they're fun to use and switch up once in a while which is totally fine we haven't had crappy weapons in a call of duty game in a couple years you, know, you look back in the day in black ops we had crappy guns like the scorpion and the uzi that were fun challenging weapons to use same kind of thing with the marksman rifles in this game so the best marksman rifle in my opinion is the ebr 14. this is a semi-auto marksman rifle with a very rapid fire rate and it is a consistent two-shot kill. It can one-shot to the head as well, which is really, really good. Uh, it has really, really good range. You can get easy two shots in the ground war maps, which is awesome. If not, you're going to be getting three-shot guarantees for sure. It has a decent clip size, good attachments. You can kit it out to be kind of like a running gun style marksman rifle, or you can kit it out to be more like a sniper rifle to use in ground war. Honestly, the EBR is one weapon that I do like to use a lot, and it is competitive with some of the, you know, if you kit out certain AR, or use the dragon of it. It is very competitive to the other marksman rifles. This is the one marksman rifle that I would recommend you try out and use. The only bad thing about the EBR is it has at first it has a little bit of view kick which is easy to get used to once you kind of learn the weapon because there is predictive recoil in this game but the bad thing about this weapon is that it has hella freaking flinch i can't tell you how many times i've been trying to track someone at long range that i get shot and my aim just goes completely off because the flinch is absolutely insane i think it's something they need to adjust because without the flinch if they didn't have crazy flinch again this would be on par with some of the assault rifles and the snipers but with that crazy flinch it does kind of bring it down a little bit which is why i was saying in the beginning of this video, all the marksmen kind of get outclassed. But EBR-14 overall, really solid weapon. I have a couple mods with it that I'll throw on here and there. Uh, just totally would recommend it. Now, the other two marksman rifles, what? <sighs> They're not good. I don't like them at all. Uh, I guess if I had to pick what the second best would be, it'd have to be the Car 98K. This is a action marksman rifle kind of like a sniper rifle we've seen it in sniper rifle incarnations in previous call of duties but in normal multiplayer it's a pretty reliable one shot kill from like the chest up the fire rate isn't too bad it is a bit slower than the other marksman rifle which i guess i'll do comparisons when i talk about the last marksman rifle but uh it's pretty decent fire rate you get five shots in the clip you can cut it out to just i mean iron sights itself are really good so you can kind of run and gun with it a little bit be a little bit more aggressive not really run and gun or you can use it more like a sniper rifle in long ranges and in any of the standard multiplayer maps other than maybe in neo palace you'll be getting pretty much one shot kills a majority of the time now when you move into ground war with the extreme distances it starts to fall apart you're getting a lot more hit markers sometimes you can get 
two hit markers before you kill someone on the third shot with this weapon. Uh, which is why in ground war I actually would recommend the worst marksman rifle over the car. But overall, outside of ground war, I'd say the car is pretty good. Again, it gets outclassed by other assault rifles. If we look in that just sniper category, the AX-50 bolt action is just a better version of the car. Uh, unless you're trying to go for iron sights, I guess it would be the only benefit that the car would have. So if you like iron sight sniping, car 98K is for you. And that brings us to the last marksman rifle, which is the worst in my opinion. It is the Mark II carbine. Uh, this is a lever action, but I can't remember. If, I think it's a lever action. Kind of looks like a cowboy gun. But this marksman rifle is not good. <laughs> you get so many hit markers with this thing. I say it's going to be at least a two shot kill a majority of the time, unless you're hitting the head, which will be a guaranteed one shot kill. But uh, again, outside of headshots, you're getting hit marker after hit marker. It has a, a faster fire rate than the car, which is good. So if you are getting hit markers, you can follow up with another shot and kill them quicker. But the, the hit markers for me are just frustrating. I don't know why you would use this over the car if you're trying to get one shot, one kills, or a sniper rifle, or an assault rifle like the Fal or the Odin, which can get, you know, faster two shot kills than the carbine can. Uh, with those weapons, you don't have to worry about the carbines kind of uh, lever action maneuver and trying to track your target and time your shots the correct way. It, it's just, I wouldn't recommend it. I didn't have a fun time using the car or the carbine, especially trying to get long shots in like ground war maps. But the carbine seems like a better use for the long longer ranges in ground war because you're going to be getting hit markers with the car 98k unless you're getting a headshot and with the carbine it's just easier to follow up on those shots and get those two three shot kills at long ranges so yeah uh that's my best to worst marksman rifle list again ebr 14 i would totally recommend you try it out i like the weapon the other two marksmans get platinum on it good luck to you with that other than that i really wouldn't use them unless they get a buff in the near future who knows but that's my best to worst list let me know what you guys think down below in the comments do you agree with my list do you think i am completely insane and the carbine is the best marshmallow out of them all let me know with your own comment or leave your own best to worst list upvote the ones you agree with and we'll see what everyone who watches this video is thinking down below in the comments so yeah that'll be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and consider getting subscribed for more awesome modern warfare content like this in the near future and if you really enjoy hit the bell notification so you get notified when all my stuff goes live you can check the links down below in the description for 10 percent off control freaks as well as cool and the aim apparel you also have my amazon associates link down there if you want to help support my channel by shopping through that link but again Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Sinister Skater, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.